dad began to get ill and uh, I asked him one day I was, what he wanted to do with the barbershop. He said he would like to keep the music going. I said, okay, that's what we'll do. So uh, when he passed, instead of flowers, we took donations. It's, it's my job to keep the doors open uh, so they'll have a place to play. I'm Carol Anthony, owner of the Drexel Barbershop, Bluegrass Venue. I don't do, I try not to do too much I don't enjoy. Dad started his business in 1949, February, actually. And uh, when he was not busy, with, you know, he would sit down, he would pick on the guitar a little bit. Uh, the chief of police would come by and he played a mandolin. So he would join in with Dad. They would sit there and play till he got a call. He'd jump back in the car and take off. Or sometimes they would play for an hour or so. Well, then in 1964, when the, the Beatles hit, of course, his business went you know, down from that, and uh, he had more time to play. And then the guys started coming in, would be one with a banjo player and a mandolin player, a guitar, and first thing you know, it was every day. Jam sessions uh, on Saturday and the other days also start about noon usually, and they'll run to four or five o'clock whenever the guys get tired. The guys, they're all you know, like brothers and you know, cousins or whatever, they're, uh, we, we all just gather for the music. It's a place for, for the community. It's, uh, they don't have a community center anymore. So it's, it's like the last place for anybody to to go and, and uh, socialize. It's quite unique that, that the music is here almost always, so there's you know plenty of people here to socialize with, and uh, since there's no not really anywhere else to go in, in a town like this, it's just a good place to good place to visit.